presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Seam in Dallas. Hi, Tom. I love your show. Uh, Thank you so I've much. I've been listening to you since 2001 from my Seattle days when you were on a little station there. I appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. <laughs> Thank you. Well, listen, thanks for bringing us from Seattle to Dallas, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I love uh, all the hosts. I love your show. I'm addicted to it. That's Hotel California. It's wicked, isn't it, man? <laughs> thanks. Right, Tom, nice okay, to man. To you. Have a great one. Right. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no. You always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market boys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 213, NASDAQ up 54, S&P's up 20, gold contract down $4.20, trading at 1,322 an ounce. Silver up 37 cents, 18 dollars and 78 cents an ounce. Platinum up 16 bucks, 1,025 an ounce. Copper up a penny and a half at 2.20 a pound. Light sweet crude down a uh, buck 50, 48 dollars 39 cents. Notes down one tick, 133 flat. Bonds off one half a point, 19 ticks, 172.13. Notes and bonds continue to refuse lower price. They both want higher price, lower yield. King dollar, King dollar up 293 ticks, trading out at 96.10. The euro is at 110 uh, and the yen is at 103. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's a beautiful thing, folks. If we go to the SPY first, this is what you have happening. Spies up 248. We're at 209.14. The high of the downdraft started out there at 210. We've hit 209.30. So you come down, what do we do? We get down and uh, we get down with 333 million. You get low at 248. And this is a classic, folks. This is about as good as you can get. So first day of the bounce, you do 159 million. Yesterday, we do 137 million, and today we'll probably do about 125 million. You get July 4th happening, yeah, maybe we'll tag the top of it tomorrow, maybe not. Bottom line, this is not, well, what you have happening now, this did more than a 0.618 retracement, so it's not an ABC down. Bottom line, what you do have, you're going to be right back downtown. I expect you're going to see that next Wednesday, Thursday. We take a look at the NQs, same setup in the NQs. NQs right now, the three Qs, they're up 117. You're at 107.48. When this baby blew apart, it blew apart downtown with 68 million, with 50 million. You go uh, uptown, uh, first day was 28 million. Yesterday was 31, and today we'll probably do about 31 also. We take a look at the small caps. What do you have with the small caps? Same type of setup in the small caps. The small caps are the weakest uh, of those three indices that we've gone over thus far. The small caps, we came down with uh, 74 million. You're going up into that with 25 million. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contract out here, trading at a price point of 1323. Uh, we've had a price spread out here today of 1315 to 1325. Volume is. 177,000. Uh, the way that gold is trading right now, folks, it looks to me that we're going to get uh, a pullback somewhere into the 1300-1283 number. The reason I'm saying that, I'm going to go, I'm going to cut right to the dollar index, and this is what you have inside the dollar index. Dollar index uh, DXU6. What you have with the dollar index is this. Dollar index got down today to the uh, 95.52 area rejected it, 
with light of volume and goes topside. This dollar index looks to me like it's going to go after the swing points from March 10th. So that would be saying you're going to go after 98.50 as well as the 98.91 level, which is laid out there on the 3rd of March. Now, both of those days, the 3rd of uh, 3rd of February, rather. 3rd of February is where the dollar gets smacked big time. We went from 98, 91, right down to 97, 31, quick. Went a little bit lower, made it back up there, and tried to get up into that area again on the 10th of March. Rejected again, but I expect that's where we're going we're gonna to go up and test that area again. And that's where I expect you're going to get a little pressure inside of the gold market. Now, we go over to silver, and this, is, this, is, this comes into play also, and this is why. So if we take a look at the silver market, right? Great move in, on the silver contract. Huge, okay? Bottom line, you have wide price spread, you have accelerated volume, you have all of the above, right? We, we, we go higher yesterday, huge, 90,000 contracts yesterday. Today, we do 51,000 contracts. You're over the swing point, has everything going for it, but guess what? The equities are not following it up. You know, longer term, the silver contract to me, yes, wants to go absolutely to up to the uh, $25 level. XAU, HUI are in ABC structures on the way up. That being said and done, guess what? I think we're going to pull back slightly before we get into higher price. Um, bonds, what do we have with bonds? We take a look at the bond market. The bond market continues to say that we, T, there she is. So bonds out here today. The 10 year also rejected lower price, had light of volume going against the move. We got down to 132.14, said see ya, up at 133 right now. 10 year continues to want higher price, lower yield. Right now we're yielding 1.478. The 30 year is just a mind blower, folks. The 30 year, <laughs> this thing is just unbelievable. The 30 year got down to 171 today, rejected it. We're at 172.16, had light of volume. The 30-year wants to trade somewhere up into the 180s. And right now, the 30-year, this is pretty amazing, it was at 2.4, I think. Now we're at 2.2. 2.2 is just amazing. So from this year, we've gone from 2.7 to 2.2 in the last 12 months. We take a look at the 10-year, the 10-year, so check this out. The 10-year had a high this year of 1.9, almost where the 30-year the is right now. Huge numbers, absolutely huge numbers. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go take a look at the volume. What you're going to see, um, we're going to come in with light volume again. Perfect dead cat bounce, folks. You come down, you go up with light volume, you're going to go test the highs, you know. We'll see what happens. My take is that we're already in this downdraft in, in a nice way. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the markets, what you have is this. We have the Dow Industrials right now up uh, 195. NASDAQ's up 52. S&Ps are up 19. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 185. We get the Nasdaq up 47. S&Ps are up 17. As we do each and every Thursday, we have our man, Mr. Andy Heck. And don't forget, folks, every Tuesday, Thursday, right here at TFNN, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Andy's got an outstanding show. You can get that right on your cell phone. In fact, all the programming right at TFNN, you get in the cell phone, folks. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do live programming from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, live programming 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. Andy's also got a great newsletter. It's the Technomento Commodity Report. The way you can get it, come over to our website at TFNN, hit newsletters, trading newsletters, test drive the Technomento Commodity Report 30 days absolutely free. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? I missed you on Tuesday in the second hour. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> Good. You're sounding a lot better. Yeah, seriously, man. I, you know, I never, <laughs> I never felt that bad. It's it just that that I sounded insane, though. <laughs> oh, know? the voice. The voice was special. <laughs> seriously, man. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, listen. Everyone's got to like, you know, take a deep breath and look at these markets today, and remind themselves that this is quarter end. There's a lot of window dressing going on. Uh, you know, people mark their books for the end of quarter, or especially a lot of funds, and they get paid on these numbers. So, you know, we see a lot of very interesting things going on. Oh, I love I this market. I think this is the ultimate. This is the Absolutely. this I is folks. Great. I'm this is the ultimate traders market, and this is the ultimate counter trend bounce. And we'll see how this plays out. But I've I'll seen this plenty of times, and it's it's. It's beautiful, especially, you know, what I can't figure out is that it always happens, and it's great on a holiday week. It makes it even better because everyone can look and say, oh, no, well, we know they want to rise in a holiday week. And there's, there's just so many different dynamics in holiday week. It's great. So Absolutely. I just, um, actually, before I came on, I, I sold half my silver position uh, because I kind of agree with you. I think that, you know, they're marking it up here. Uh, I looked at, you know, a lot of the stocks, uh, the silver stocks, Great Panther, and those others, and they're not following through. So I took the opportunity to sell half. I'm not selling at all because I do think silver is headed, you know, it's going to have a $20 handle. I think it's but going I to 25 it. I, What right. I don't, this is the first time in a long time that what I don't like, folks, is I don't like how, particularly silver broke out really nice. The silver stocks don't have any juice, but guess what? We've already been up 200% in the silver stock, so, you know, it's like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll see where this shakes out. 
Um, exactly. If you never wrong taking profits, that's no, why I sold right, half. Right, right. Exactly. Right, right. And uh, down at 17, 16 and a half, I'll take it all back. No question. Um, just uh, getting ready my show today, Tom. I will do my usual quarter end. I've been grinding numbers oh, here. Oh, good. And just, Can't uh, wait. just to, to let you know, um, you know, the best performing commodities of the second quarter uh, soybean meal up 50%. And natural gas. I know. 49%. Natural gas caught a bid, man. Holy cow. Seriously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, there's a lot of 20% winners in there. You got silver up over 20%. You yep. got soybeans up almost 30%. Crude oil gained 26% in the quarter. And sugar and frozen concentrated orange juice <laughs> both up over 20%. Pretty wild, the, huh? Yeah, pretty wild. Listen, commodities as a whole... Looks to me like about 10.8% on the quarter, but in a quarter where the dollar was up 1.8%. Yeah. So very, very interesting. On the year, the big leaders so far, uh, soy meal up 53%, iron ore up 39%, lean hogs up 39%, and silver up 35%. The only real losers I'm seeing out there are the wheat market, the Kansas City wheat down 15%, and live cattle, those steaks are cheap. So take that money you're making in commodities and buy some steaks, down 14% <laughs> on the quarter. So very interesting as we head into Q2, and silver's still making new highs here, yeah. up to oh. 1882 and a half. Listen, you know, like I said, this is QN. And listen, when I sat at the desk at Solomon Brothers, we always took these days. We needed to mark out books. Yeah. We needed to show. So we, we it, it shows what the market positions are. I put a silver chart up here. You can see that silver open interest is close to all time highs. Okay. So there are lots of long and longs in that market. And, um, you know, we'll see next week how real the silver move today is. Uh, my my, you know, history tells me that look this is an important breakout technically and all that yeah but we could see a pullback there's no question uh, there's a lot you know there's another very interesting thing here tom currencies you know gold has rallied and silver has rallied against every single currency out there yes so in the second quarter as well as in 2016 but the biggest move in the currencies is bitcoin up 61 percent in q2 very interesting. <laughs> Tells you that the faith in credit in paper money is not what it used to be. That's for sure. Yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> the whole dynamic right now in a lot of different industries seem that it could change pretty quickly. Not quickly, but what is quickly? 10, 20, 30 years, folks. You know, it seems like we may be in that era right now uh, that what our perceptions are of certain things that will may may change <laughs> absolutely listen mark carney the head of the bank of england came out this morning and he told the markets to expect um uh you know easing this summer quantitative easing in the uk because of the pre-exit vote and that's propelled the FTSE and the stock markets higher this central bank accommodation will go on and this is bullish for commodities so you know whereas between 2011 2012 and 2015 it was appropriate to sell rallies to initiate trades and buy back on dips the exact opposite is true now you have to use dips to to get long, take profits on rallies like we're seeing today and things like silver and be ready. Have your powder clean so that when you get the next dip that looks ugly, you could step up to the plate. Now, silver can run up to $19 oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. It probably will. You know, I mean, it could even run higher. But. And tomorrow, very thin trading conditions, because I think a lot of people will take off, uh, uh, you know, for the Hamptons and so on. Oh, the and vacation so started this morning. There's no doubt. There's no exactly. doubt. Exactly. Well, and, it, it and, actually starts for the traders after they mark their books with the settlement prices today. Yeah. And, and what you had, folks, okay, I got a chart up with the FTSE right now. So picture, folks, the FTSE is over where it started down from on last Friday. And intraday, as Andy just said, when Carney came on and said intraday, Hey, listen, I'll cut rates again. 
and that just exploded everything. Not only there, but over right. here, folks, okay? Absolutely, mm -hmm. because you know the Fed's going to follow. They're not raising rates in 2016. No, they, I think that's a, that's not only. 2016, that, how about 2017 they're not raising well, rates? Well, you hey, know. Well, you, here, let's look. Here, one second, WIRP. I'll give you the odds right now. When, sure. When you see this, it'll blow your mind, folks. So if you're looking at my screen, this is the Fed futures implied odds and this is tradable folks this is where money people are putting their money so the first time that it goes over zero is december 14th andy that's 7.4 percent okay mm -hmm. now watch this we go to 2017 february the odd is 7.4 march 10.8 may 14.4 june 19.7 yep July 29 and, and November, th was only a 30% chance. It, it's just amazing. You know? It's amazing. You I mean, and that that's going to add juice to these commodities. Oh, big time. You stay right there, folks. Andy and I are going to be coming right back. We're going to be growling a problem with you. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 209. Nasdaq's up 56. S&P's are up 21. We're going to be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited-time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally weighted performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities, and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, or periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Heck. And, of course, don't forget, uh, 5 to 6 o'clock tonight, great show. Get it right on your cell phone, folks, TFNN.com. Hit Tiger TV. Uh, Andy's also got a great newsletter, the Technomento Commodity Report. You can test drive it right on our website. Newsletters, trading newsletters, you see the Technomento Commodity Report, 30 days, absolutely free. 
Hey, Andy, so um, it, it, corn got uh, basically toasted and roasted out here today. Corn got toasted, but soybeans exploded. Oh, yeah. You know that, that corn soybean that. ratio is at 3.1 to 1, 3.1 bushels of, of corn in each bushel of soybean value. Uh, there's a deficit and a shortage of soybeans around. There's still plenty of corn around. And, uh, yeah, because a report came out that they planted more corn, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Which, you know what, I could still see a lot of farmers switching crops, given the economics of soybeans here, this late. Uh, you know, it's kind of the deadline now. I okay. mean, it's a little bit past the deadline, but uh, we could see that. But you know what, eventually, eventually, it's all up to the weather this summer. And, you know, they can plant as much as they want, but if the weather is not appropriate for it, uh, the crop yields won't be good. So we'll have to see how the weather is uh, this summer. But soybeans are going in with a low carryover, and that's going to be a problem. And that's when you say low carrier, that means from last year, right? Or whatever yes, is the from storage. Last year, yeah. Okay. Exactly. And also, South American uh, production wasn't that. Uh, uh, good this year uh, because of the drought in Brazil, the floods in Argentina. Yeah. So, uh, you know, soybeans are the big winner here, no question. But, you know, you know how it is, Tom, in these sectors. When one goes, the others tend to follow. So don't get too bearish on corn. It was an ugly move today. Yeah. But uh, in corn and wheat could be buying opportunities. We traded to the multi, multi year lows yesterday. I still like those. I actually like them better than the beans here. The beans are treacherous. Oh, listen, I. I, I agree with you, man. I like the whole complex of hard assets. <laughs> I agree. You know, I, it's, it's I, I just I just wrote in the den, you know, you make we we're, we're making money if we're trading commodities here. But maybe the good game plan here is to, you know, take those profits we pick up in the ETFs and in the futures and in the derivatives yeah. and then take a piece of that and invest it in the gold and silver physical markets because that's where I think, you know, I, I, I'm telling you, you know, we might come down the dollar might rally. We might have a sell-off in gold and silver, but long term, these markets are bull markets. The bull is back, and I think we're going to see much, much higher prices for gold and silver, given the global geopolitical landscape and the global economic landscape. Yeah, this is almost a perfect storm for gold and silver. No, I agree, and and this is what's cool, folks. Okay, if you've never, well, for the folks that even have, when you, a couple of different things have to happen. If you're going to do that, the, the first one would be just as Andy suggested, I'd go right there for sure. I'm a wicked commodity bull. Is that you have to understand, you have to, okay, you're going to say, okay, if you're buying physical, where are we going to be three or four years from now? Okay, so if you're buying physical, what I like about buying physical, Andy, is that you, you buy physical, you don't trade it, folks. You, you're making a, a much more macro bet. You're saying, okay, listen, I'm going to buy it at this price, I'm going to sell it at this price, and that's what I'm looking for. And that might be two, three, four, five years. That's a different type of trade. But yes. I'll tell you what, it's a great trade, man. I mean, you know. I think so. I mean, I, I think, you know, you carve off a little piece of your profits from trading these derivatives and, and put it into that because long term, the, the, the currency markets are being totally debased, by, in my opinion. You could agree, you could disagree, but by this central bank policy of these very low or negative interest rates, the, the, the ultimate response of this is that currency is worth less, whether it's dollars, euro, yen, uh, any of these currencies. We look at the currencies. We are so trained, Tom, to look at the value of currencies against one another. But when, but the, but when you look at them against gold over the last year or so. When you look at them against silver or against most hard assets, you'll find that the weakest thing out there is currencies. Like the dollar can rally, but it could still be weak. And 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 it's all about value. And that's why I really like these uh, physical precious metals. Now, I'm not a big Bitcoin guy, but I mentioned Bitcoin uh, in the first segment because it it's very telling to me that people are looking for alternatives. They don't trust government. They don't trust central banks. And the central banks are like heroin addicts addicted to stimulus. Well, if we stay with your, your first, the, the first statement you made is that, that it was your opinion, right? right? So this is what's really cool. My take is that it's not your opinion, it's actually a fact. <laughs> the, the, no, seriously, no. man. The, 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 the fact is, There'd folks. There'd be plenty this, of people who would argue with me about it, the that. Fact that, that yeah, I, stay with me. Doesn't matter. I can. We'll give them the facts. The facts are, folks. Okay, that the currencies are debased, getting debased, and that's not a secret. 
It's, that's a fact, okay? Because I, I, this is the ugliest in my lifetime. Well, the the cool thing is, this is what I like. The cool thing is, is that if you understand what any type of currency is, it's a it's a barter. That's all it is, okay? And, Legal tender. Right. And what ends up happening is that folks turn around, and for some reason, I heard this on Bloomberg this morning, and I just cracked up. So on Bloomberg this morning, they're talking about gold, right? And Doug Cass was on, and he's saying technical analysis isn't working anymore, and it, it get, go blah, 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 and all this stuff, right? So they ask him about gold, and he says, well, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, can't, I can't manage the fundamental on gold. I don't know what it was. And you know what, folks? It's, it's amazing. What, what is so amazing to me on a continual basis that you have these smart people that people bring on and they're supposed to do this and do that and it's always the same rap and the rap never goes back to okay why are you owning something why are you owning anything okay <laughs> you know what i mean so they always seem to go to the, the aspect that oh well that's not a store of value or that and, and it's like oh my god man it just all that matters folks what you can buy with it the bottom line, the first run in gold, we bought it at 282, sold it at 1700, bought plenty of houses. Next run in gold, guess what? We're buying it here, selling it there, and you can leverage it. I mean, there's a million things. It, it just matters if you Absolute. really understand that. It's just like taking a $100 bill out of your pocket. You don't have to keep it forever. Go make two or 300% on it. it. Buy something I it else. One, I take it one step further. One step further. Gold, you know, I, I'm a student of history. I believe history repeats itself. I, totally. I believe that. Hey, look that, at wingtips. History tips. is really important. Well, I did, my son, Tommy just gave me a great pair of wingtips. They just keep coming back, man. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but but gold has been a currency long before any of these paper currencies were around. Right. And it would be a, a, a means of exchange long after. And if they are debasing, as we know, they're debasing these currencies, this central bank policy and this political policy, fiscal and monetary policy. Right. The bottom line is, hey. You know, you go with the oldest uh, store of value out there, and that is gold and silver. Gold is the bills, and silver is the change. My grandfather used to say, always say, "Yo, I have silver in my pocket." He was talking about coins. Yeah, that right. that was the mentality, and and it still is. And you know what? And I look at something like platinum, and I say, "Oh, oh. my God, that thing is going to double." Yeah, uh, it's in heavy. my opinion. I mean, you know, it's an industrial metal. But when gold starts to really blast off, people are going to look for substitutes. And they're going to say, hey, platinum is also a precious metal. Oh, yeah. We should have some of that. And by that time, it's too late because they'll be buying it at 2000 Oh, listen, man, it's, that, there's no doubt. It's, 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 it's pretty cool. The, the thing that's really, really cool, folks, that I, I like at this particular point, everyone's worrying about bubbles and yeah, there's going to be a bubble, but guess what? Bubbles are there to be rode too, you know? You right. can sit there Absolutely. and yell for uh, three or four years that, oh, we're in a bubble. Well, guess what? You can, <laughs> you can, you know, get half no the question. bubble and kick back and groove, man. No question. Hey, listen, man, thank you so much. Look forward to the show and all the stats at uh, 5 o'clock, man. I love those. Have a happy those, 4th those, of July weekend. Yeah, happy 4th. Make it a great one, man. You too. God bless America. It's a beautiful thing, folks. You stay right there. I'll right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of of software by visiting tfnn.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. 
These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up by 203. Nasdaq's up 54. S&Ps are up 20. And, you know, as Andy and I were just talking, so check this out. This is pretty cool, folks. Uh, you talk about debasing currencies um, and... And one way to do that, of course, is just through central banks buying all the debt up. Well, this just came across the tape, so this is going to be wild. Um, the European Central Bank is said to weigh looser QE rules as Brexit cuts asset pool. So the European Central Bank is considering loosening the rules for its bond purchase to ensure enough debt is available to buy in the aftermath of the Brexit vote, according to one European um, bank official. Uh, policymakers are concerned that the pool of securities eligible for quantitative easing has shrunk after investors piled into the region's safest assets and pushed down yields on some sovereign debt too far to meet the current criteria. Some governing council members now favor changing the allocation for bond purchases away from the size of the nation's economy toward one, toward, toward one more in line with outstanding debt. Now, watch. I, I'll walk you through this in a second because this is pretty wild. Such a move risks controversy because securities issued by highly leveraged governments such as Italy, the world's third largest debtor after the United States and Japan, would benefit. It's pretty... Italy, folks, is a beautiful place to go to. And it's amazing that they've already... So picture this. Take the size of Italy and the amount of people. They're the third largest debtor in the world. Questions over the legality of ECB bond purchases programs have occupied some of the region's highest courts. This is over in Europe recently because the opponents claim that the operations conducted in the name of monetary policy might uh, prop up um, and proliferate uh, nations. So the bottom line is that they're monetizing debt, folks. So, I mean, I'll walk you through how this thing works. So, the European Central Bank, folks, the way that this works is that they... Let's picture that you're XYZ company and you're in Germany or London or Italy or wherever you are. You issue debt. And the debt that you've issued, you're, you, know, you don't have to be a triple A, double A, you know, you're a B. Bottom line, as what, what ends up happening is that the European Central Bank is coming in the market, buying that debt and taking it off the books. Now, what does that do? Well, what it does, what it's supposed to do is keep cash inside the economy so to try to have the economy grow. The European Central Bank, because they print money, of course, what ends up happening, they're never going to sell that debt. Just like our own Federal Reserve, all the debt that they buy, they just take it, they put it in, they'll, they keep it forever, right? Okay, so now let's go to the next step. The next step, what they're talking about here is this, is that here, you're going from the aspect of uh, buying the sovereigns and buying the best debt to one of, and there's a, there's a criteria, and the criteria had to do with the amount of 
assets in the region and all of the above. Well, what they're thinking of doing is that now they're thinking of going into where the outstanding debt is. <laughs> where the outstanding debt is in Europe, of course, is Italy. Okay? So the thing that's pretty wild here is that if, in fact, that happens, what you're going to see is that all the debt that's in Italy, they're going to come in and buy that. It'll never go back in the marketplace. But what does, it, what does that do? That puts more euros in the marketplace. That is how you debase currency. That's how every euro that's here, if I just break it down, let's say we live in a town and we have 100 euros, and that's all there is in the whole town. Then what ends up happening is that we use that 100 euros to price out all our products, okay? Well, there's 100 euros, bottom line, you, you're going to price them out, there's 100 euros, that's all there is, there's no more, right? So you need a real product to get one euro away from me or if you have a euro off someone else, right? Now watch what happens. We get 100 euros in, in the little community. There's 10 businesses in the community. The 10 businesses in the community, what they do is that they go out and they get debt. And let's say their debt is only, you know, 10 euros a piece. So now there's 100 euros in debt. So what ends up happening, our central bank says, oh, we get, we get trouble here. Um, we have to buy that debt so that the economy gets going. Okay, so the central bank comes in, they buy the debt of those 10 companies. So now there's 200 euros inside that country. What do you think happens with the, the prices? They're only going to go one way. It's going to go up. That's how it gets debased. Against what? Against gold or silver, or against a hard asset, or against the house. Because what happens immediately is anyone that has a hard asset, that hard asset will go up with the debasing of the currency, and it goes up exponentially over time. So that's what we have happening now, uh, that's what we're going to see more in the European economy, uh, because the, the slippery slope, we're way past the slippery slope. You know, if we were having this conversation 10 years ago, um, some people would believe that, yeah, it could happen. Most people would absolutely not believe that central banks across the world would, are going to basically monetize debt. You know, I guess maybe we have to go back 15 years. 15 years ago, um, you know, there's plenty of gold bugs that were out there, and they were right that they're going to monetize debt. What hasn't come to play out is this. What hasn't come to play out is the aspect of um, inflation in the marketplace. I, I would say that we have inflation big time in, in the rental structure, in housing, in medical... Um, in education, in food, uh, it, it's not gone right across uh, the economies yet. But guess what? It's going to, you know. Uh, that's, that's my take on it. Um, Dave has a question. Tom, what does new rules for loans on rental property do to the market? I, I, don't, I don't know what, what the new rules are. As far as I know, I'd have to get you want to find out what the new rules are on rental property. Right now, I know you can do four... Uh, Four units, you can get like nothing. M money is very easy to get right now. If you're asking about, th there's, there's so much money out here, folks, in the housing market, in mortgages, all of that. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It's every there's more money than there are properties, okay? So if you hear on the TV that you can't get a mortgage, don't believe it. <laughs> don't, even, don't even go there, okay? Um, it's 3% down. You can go 3% down everywhere buying a house up to 417000 If you're in Boston, you go to six fifty. dollars um, There's plenty of money, and it's all over the place. And what ends up happening is that the, um, you just you got to call, call your broker up. <laughs> they're, they're, it's everywhere. And what does happen if you are a, a new buyer, um, which is really cool, if it's an FHA, if it's a VA loan, you can kick in the uh, back end of the closing costs legally into the loan. And that is huge for new buyers, folks. So I, we actually had a buyer. I had a buyer walk away from the table. It was two uh, women that were in, with the VA loan. They walked away from the table uh, six months ago with money in their hand, <laughs> legally. <laughs> you know, 
That's so there's plenty of money out there. It's it's all over the place and it's very inexpensive and they're very, you know, uh, right now I believe it's only 650 um, that you need on on your score, you know. So 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. We have the Dow right now up at 186. You got the Nasdaq up 51. S&Ps are up 18. We're going to right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 194. You get the Nasdaq up 52. S&Ps are up by 19. And to stay on the uh, the structure, talking about the real estate and the loans, uh, you know, uh, of course, we get the Tigers didn't go in wild here. That uh, yeah, it's going to be a replay in the housing market. This is what the differences are. Um, the replay. So the three percent loans, folks. It, this is where when you want it, when you want something, what you should do, no matter what you hear inside the press. You should always just call up and find out what it is. The 3% loans never stopped. FDA loans never stopped. VA loans never stopped. None of that ever stopped. The difference is the appraisals and the liar loans are gone. So the appraisal deal, it has to appraise out correctly. The documentation of the loans have to be there. That wasn't there in 2001 to 2006. You know, the, the ultimate loan out there was the liar loan. Um, that's all those securities, those are total liar loans, flat out. Um, the appraisal business in general, um, I suspect at that time was also off the hook. You know? So as to 
Um, is that implosion going to happen again? Yeah, I figure it will happen again, but I think we got... Uh, I think we get quite a while. Uh, one of the main reasons that I think we get quite a while is that it was a wipeout everywhere. Um, some of the large cities right now, I think, are yeah, overpriced, and they'll, they'll pull back 20, 25 percent in a heartbeat. I can't picture whether it's San Francisco, Boston, you know, some of these, you know, I, I've seen them before. And they pull back, you know, because when the rent structure can't pay for the house and it's the merry-go-round that 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 turns into a problem let's go to kevin in orlando hey kevin what's going on hey tom just uh, gearing up for a big uh, fourth of july weekend perfect man it's a beautiful thing yeah gonna take uh the wife and kids on a cruise with uh some of the money i've made from uh from our gold trades here over the past few weeks that's awesome man that's great where, where are you gonna go so we're out of Fort Lauderdale. We're going to go to uh, it's a six day or We go to Turks and Caicos, go to Nassau. <laughs> That's and awesome, man. Wow. The, the kids are fired up. The wife's fired up. And uh, I owe it all to TFNN. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. Hey, so a quick question for you. And I've, yep. I've done really well in this stock, and I don't know if it is a sell today and then wait for it to pull back. CDE. Yeah, you get Coeur d'Alene. Okay, so Coeur d'Alene, uh, the... <sighs> this is a trippy stock, there's no doubt. Yeah, it's, I think it... it <laughs> I thought today that uh, I, I was going to sell it when it started backing off, when, when, when the price of silver kept going up and then this thing kept going down. And then all of a sudden it started taking off again towards the end of the day here. But I've, I've been looking at the volumes, and about four days ago, you know, it did 11, 12 million shares. That seems to be going up on less and less volume. Seven. Well, the, the bigger issue is that it's an ABC up to 13 bucks. Okay, so it's a confirmed ABC to 13. You know, you're 1064. Um, you know, this has been a straight line move. There's no doubt. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's not. It's I, so so 13 would be the one to one ABC. Uh, you know, even on a pullback. Yeah, that big day at nine dollars it can pull back to, you know, maybe eight seventy three. That's kinda like how I'd gauge it. Like a normal pullback here would be eight seventy three. So right. you're gonna yeah. say to yourself, Okay, do I wanna take this money now and maybe give up two two twenty on the upside versus you know, you could get uh what, almost two dollars to the downside. Right. That, that's right. kind of how I'd analyze that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, it never hurts to have a little extra spending cash for this, uh, this yeah. trip this weekend. <laughs> hey, totally, man. There's always another trade. And, you know, I listen, you know, you know, I, I sent the gold report out today. You know what I'm thinking. So, oh, yeah. you know, it's, hey, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a great trip, too, man. Happy yeah, Fourth. Yeah, have, have a good Fourth yourself. Don't forget, right on that cell phone, TFNN. <laughs> ah. <laughs> have a good one. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Kevin in Orlando. Hey, Kevin, what's going on? Hey, I'm, I'm doing great. You know, I am addicted to TFNN. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. It's a great network, man. And I well, want to thank great. everyone out there, you know, for making it a great network. Well, it's great because I do outside sales. So I get to have the station on my phone the whole day. And when I go pick up the kids at, uh, from school at 3 o'clock, they all love and give, give the old round. Educating the kids at a young age is a good thing. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. In every kiss, in every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. 
Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 235 points, NASDAQ up 63, SPs up 21, gold contract down $1.80 at 1,325 an ounce, silver up 45 cents at $18.86 an ounce, platinum up $18 at 1,027 an ounce, copper up two pennies at 2.20 a pound, light sweet crude down a buck and a half, $48.39 a barrel, bonds, the 10 year note. Down two ticks, 132.31. 30 a bond off 16 ticks, 172.16. King dollar up 158 ticks at 95.96. The euro is trading at dollar 11, and the yen is trading at 103. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So check it out, folks. SPY goes up $2.80. We have 148 million shares traded. We're at 209.47. Where we started on the way down last Friday, folks, was 210.84. So what you're gonna probably see out here tomorrow, it's gonna test that tomorrow. You'll have even lighter volume, and then that's all she wrote. Next week, and that won't be Tuesday, because coming back to, you figure we get July 4th, Monday, Tuesday, a lot of people will take off. It'll be a slow week next week, but I expect next week, that's where you start heading back down into this high volume low that was established out here on the 27th. That's your SPY. NDX 100, same type of setup in the NDX. NDX right now, up $1.27, 31 million shares traded. You're already over the downdraft uh, that had 68 million. Uh, the high that it's going into is the $107 the low of the high is $107.62, the high is 108.79. Small caps, what do we have with the small caps? Same type of setup inside the small caps. What we have the small caps is this. Small caps, 38 million shares traded out here today versus your downdraft of 74 million. You're up 210. You're trading 114.98, which got over the downdraft of the gap. That means it's gonna go up to the top of the gap, which would be 115.73. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contract out here. Price spread out here today was 315 to 326. Um, 182,000 contracts traded. Not bad because as it's finished up, it wasn't that bad. It, was, it, it finished at the higher end of its range. So we'll see whether it wants to go after that 1331. We'll see if it wants to do that first. My, my take right now is that I suspect we're gonna pull back to about the 1286 level. That's where I'm looking at gold right now. We got a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. That's the longer picture. The shorter picture is that, well, let me do silver for you first so you can see where my head's at here. Silver, silver caught a huge bid, two days in a row. So, this is what we have. Silver's up 46 cents today. We're at $18.87. Volume yesterday, monster volume, beautiful volume, 90,000 contracts. Today, 54,000 contracts. Have it all, okay? You get over the swing point, did it with volume, all of the above. When we take a look at silver, and I put silver, and I'll put this on a continuous contract. My take is that silver does want to go, go to 25 bucks. Okay, we'll put this, and I'll show you where the $25 is. Where the $25 is, folks, is that that's the swing high of August of 2013. Why there? Because that is where, when we broke topside three months ago, we broke that whole downtrend, and we broke that downtrend with conviction. You know, so when you break something with conviction, that's wide price spread accelerated volume. Bottom line, that's where it likes to go. That price point is $25.12. Now, that being said, what do you have? Well, let's go take a look at some of the silver stocks. The silver stocks already, if we take a look at First Majestic, okay? That couldn't break topside today when they had two days to really break topside. My take, however, is that this. This has already gone from $2.50 five months ago to $13.58. Heckla. And they all, they all look good, but we had just... So Heckla, what did Heckla do? Heckla traded at 510. That had already gone from 161 to 510. Bottom line is that you didn't have the movement with the gold and silver equities, particularly the silver equities, as silver went that dramatically higher. 
Okay, so now let's go to the dollar because it looks to me that the dollar is going to make a run here. And the dollar hasn't made a run for quite a while. The dollar index rejected today $95.52. You had lighter volume on the rejection. We closed out at $95.94. It looks to me like the dollar is going to make a run up to this uh, $98.50 level. And if that's what we get, I expect what you're going to see, you're going to see a slight pullback in the gold contract and the silver contract, actually in those equities also. Um, we'll see. It's going to be pretty wild watching this thing shake out. Bonds. And there's divergence, and this is what the divergence is it's in my own head. The divergence has to do with, now let's go through the bond market. So we go through, and we look at the bonds. Well, bonds also rejected lower price. The 10-year got to 132.14. We closed at 133. So the 10 year wants higher price, lower yield, and right now we're yielding 1.4. We go to the 30 year, we take a look at the 30 year. 30 year closed at 172.18. It's right at its highs. The yield on the 30 year right now is 2.3. Now, as bonds want higher price, that is saying that the market wants lower price. As bonds want higher price, realistically, all hard assets should basically go higher. So what the divergence is, even in my own head, is this, is that dollar wants higher price. I don't like that the equities, the gold and silver equities, couldn't break topside. So when I put that together, it's like, okay, when you do get, the last time we got a, a market pullback, the market pullback on Brexit the only things that went up were gold, silver, and all the equities. It looks to me like if we get a little market pullback this time, which we've seen before, then you'll get everything pulling back. So we'll see how that uh, is going to shake out, and I expect that's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Let's go over to the um, oil market. Oil market out here today, down a buck and a half. You had 477,000 contracts. That's not bad. Oil's, oil, is, oil, oil hasn't cracked yet, you know. It looks to me like it does want to go after the 4640 mark, but it hasn't cracked just yet. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, Micron. Micron just came out with numbers MU. MU closed at uh, $13.76. Right now, that's trading at uh, $12.60. And let's see what they have to say. So they had uh, third quarter adjusted losses, uh, $0.08. Cents. Their, the net, net sales, the estimate was 2.96. They made 2.9, so that was shy. The... Uh, the loss was less than was expected. They were supposed to lose 10 cents. They lost eight. Uh, bottom line is that uh, the stock's down at 12.66, and uh, this is going to be a classic too. So we'll see how it goes after the uh, 12.10 area. It was trading 12.10 on Monday. Let's go to Tony and Wellesley. Hey, Tony, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you been, John? I've been great. Yourself, man? Good. Long time listen. Every day. Every right. day. It's a beautiful thing. I love that voice, man. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you know, you're saying the gold stocks may retrace a little. Once in a while, I play, and I agree, once in a while, I play a vehicle, the direction vehicle called Dust, just maybe 100 shares. Okay. I'm wondering if you thought that was a good play, and if so, how high could it go? Okay, so let, let's 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 take a look at it. Uh, you got the D U S T, folks. This is the direction, 300% inverse correlation of the New York Acker Gold Miners Index. Okay, so um, what you what you're trading off of here, folks, is that you're, you're trading that the Acker Index is going to go down, and inside that Acker Index, and this is where you want to get your head wrapped around about the weighting structure. So inside this index, um, Barrick is the biggest one. It's 11 point 11 percent. Uh, Newmont is 9%. You've got Gold Corp, 7%. Okay, so what I like to do with this, uh, because I like trading both the, the dust and the nugget product, uh, you yeah. know, because, because what happens, folks, is that when you understand the weighting structures that are inside them, it, it's, it's a cool deal, okay? So Barrick right now is, is out of ties, right? Um, the run has been great, uh, but it's, this is also, you know, it, stocks only go so high, and they have to have a pullback. So Barrick is coming into huge resistance from August of 2013, February of 2014, and that's after Barrick has just got a straight line move, folks, from six dollars and ninety-three cents to twenty-one bucks. Okay, so so now let's go to Newmont. We go, we take a look at Newmont. We have with Newmont. Newmont is trading at thirty-nine dollars and twelve cents. We do the same type of exercise on Newmont. And what you're going to see on Newmont is that this straight line move from $16 to 39 and that is coming into a downdraft that had been created out there in April of 2013. Okay, so now let's go over to the, the, the dust product, okay? So okay. what you have, folks, is this. These are great products. They're daily investment vehicles. That's what you want to wrap your head around here, okay? So, yeah, you can get in the morning, get out in the afternoon. Um, I would wait. I mean, are you going to trade this tomorrow? Or are you thinking like next Tuesday or something? Yeah, next week. I'll go so, the weekend. But I thought it could go up to about 12. Well, what happens is this, is that you're at 783 right now, mm -hmm. okay? This has been, you know, a one-way move down because the reality is, is that gold miners have gone one way and the way up. Um, I, what I would do is this. That when I trade both of these products... In the morning, Tony, right, you can go over to South Africa. Folks, this is a, this is a big heads up just in general. South African 
exchange. The Johannesburg exchange is free. It's open. You can see how the gold mining stocks are trading over there way before our markets opened. Okay. So yeah. what I do is I go over there first and say, okay, what are you doing? You can bring up the volumes, you can bring up the price, and guess what? If they, they're getting hit a little, then I look at our market, and most of the time, they, they will correlate, but not until closer to the open, okay? Because that's what people, so if you see them down in the morning, you see GFR here. I'll put them up in Johannesburg right now if you're watching Tiger TV. So this is gold fields, and this is traded in rands, okay? So if you see, you know, like right now, GFI is still at its highs, okay? I'll put Harmony up, and there's, there's a lot of gold stock over there. Harmony was sideways today. If you see that they are trading down, then yes, then you can go into the dust product. And what happens, folks, dust and nugget do trade before the open also. And you can turn around and say, okay, what's the bid, what's the offer, and then you can win the product. Yeah. I like, okay. I like, I like the trade, man. I, you know. Yeah. I like you can't go too heavy into that, but you know maybe a hundred shares or two hundred. What, what, whatever you know works for you. That's that's what it comes yeah. down to. You yeah. know, and yeah. that the the key with these, I wouldn't say it so much as that how many you're buying to make sure that you understand that you're trading it and it's a trading vehicle. If you if you that's consider right. them a trading vehicle, you're in. That's exactly what they are, and they get movement for you. And if you're right on the movement. You can do very well very quickly. I've held that for 20 minutes and made money. I, listen, there's no doubt, man. I I, <laughs> I, I I trade them quite a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I and, love them. And you I don't them. need, you know, what happens, folks, is that they can move 20 or 30 cents pretty quickly. And just depending on how you're trading them makes, makes a difference. And, you know, right. bottom line, you can be a bull or a bear, uh, and they have both products. And the way that... The commodities are moving and the metals are moving, you know, they're viable products. So Well congratulations on your I've watched you since since you first started on the program, Tom, with your three amigos, you know, the That's ball, amazing. The ball. So and, I uh, think I mean that's like twenty two years ago now, huh? I think it is. Yeah, I don't listen, yeah. And I'm you only twenty one years way. old, man. How does that work? Well, I'm not old enough to drink, although somehow or other they send me a social security payment. <laughs> All the best to you, Tom. You I'm too, man. Listening. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay safe and stay healthy. Yeah, have a great fourth, man. All right. Man, I'm telling you, folks. You know what? You know, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? You know, I like saying that, but it's so true, folks, because... You know, uh, I remember Tony right from the beginning because we started in Waltham. That's where this program started. And it was so funny when we started the program. I, this is how sick it used to be, meaning, meaning I probably still am sick, but I used, to take, uh, I used to take my computer, folks, and put it on my shoulder and go to the studio because I had my Bloomberg on my computer. And at, and at that particular point, what happens is that you, now I got a little card, this little card, I can go anywhere and put my fingerprint in it. Um, but then you need, it was only in the box. So I would take it and the program was three, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I think. Yeah. And then what Tony was talking about, the three amigos, um, then we start doing it out of my office five days a week. And uh, there was three of us that were doing it because we were on live at three o'clock and we'd be trading every single day on the air uh, at three o'clock. Anyways, it's been, it's been a great run. And I want to thank all you tigers and tigresses out there. The, the, my point is, it's 22 years, man. So whatever you want to do, folks, do it right now, man, because it blows my mind how fast 22 years went. And I know we always say that and to our kids and everyone else, but man, oh man, that, that is like crazy really crazy and you know what the markets haven't changed in 22 years it's always one thing that blows my mind about markets is that you can even read all the old books the you know it's just they never change people just seem to keep putting money into markets and markets seem to keep taking it it's kind of weird stay right there folks we're coming right back Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited time, five-year market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD 
offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally rated performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities and their respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, a periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. It's 2016, and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And I guess uh, let's go take a look. Uh, man, Dave White saying that uh, Tesla had a little problem here with their um, driving uh, assistance program. Okay, so I, I guess what you have out here, um, let's see, the, the headlines are saying the, the NHTSA, which is uh, the National Traffic, uh, you know, basically Safety Council, um, learned of a fatal crash, uh, 2015 model uh, of, they're saying it's a self-driving system, but it, what happens, folks, uh, and anyway, Tesla, Tesla closed at $2 and, uh, $212. It's trading right now at uh, 206 so it's down six bucks. Um, so it's going to go after the, uh, it's going to go after its lows. And one of the other companies, I believe the company that makes that stuff is uh, MBLY. So if we go over to MBLY, uh, this is Mobileye, okay? They provide image sensing technology for automotive uh, applications. This here closed at $46. That now is trading at $44.40. Uh, thanks, Duffy. National Highway Transportation uh, Agency. So let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, so if you go uh, MBLY, so let me show you something here. Okay, so this company here, okay, the company designs, develops vision-based advanced driver assistance systems that offer warnings for collision prevention and mitigation. Okay, so the way that these self-driving cars work, folks, is that if you've never done one, what I think you should do, and it'll blow your mind, is go to a dealership that has self, uh, well, driver-assisted cars. 
So a driver-assisted car works like this. Um, and they work. I can tell you they work. But this is, this, is, this is where I think people will get in trouble with them. So what happens is this, is that they tell you flat out, number one, that when you're using this, and these cars are out here right now, folks, and they, they work really well, actually. But I'll tell you a few things that don't work well with them. Well, not that don't work well, but if you're not used to it. So they get a little switch on them, and you hit the switch, and just, it's just like, uh, you know, your speed control. You, you, this speed control is actually built into the speed control. There's 10 cameras on the car. You go in the speed control, okay? You hit the speed control. What the car does is the car locks onto the car in front of you. It also locks onto the lines in the highway, on the highway, okay? And what I've found is this. If you're going only like 30, 35 miles an hour, they don't work as well as you're going 50, 60, 80, 90 miles an hour, okay? What ends up happening is that it seems that when you're going 50, okay, it'll blow your mind. I mean, you, you, you're literally going down the highway, it'll take turns, it'll do all the above, you know, and it locks on and locks on pretty good. That's the great part about it, right? They, it slows down, it'll come to an exact stop, it will start up again, it will go, okay? So those are the cool things, and actually, we, we, if you test drove one of them, not a Tesla, the, the, I'm not talking about, but there's, there's a couple other cars out here that have that self-driving mechanism in them that, that are really cool. Now, that's the cool thing about them. Now, check this out, though. This is what they also do. When you don't have this system on, and this is, this is a safe issue, and, and, and these cars are going to be a lot safer than they already are right now. Let's picture that you're driving down the highway. And you drive, you know, I'm sitting there and you're just talking to your friend. If your car goes over that line, it pulls it back immediately by itself, by itself. That part there, if you have one of them, you better make sure that you know that it's going to do it. Because what ends up happening is that it, it is literally like you're driving and someone grabs the wheel from you and, and pulls you back in the line. But it's pretty cool. But I can see how we're going to, how that technology is going to advance very quickly, you know, because it's, I, I, I have, I found it hard to believe that um, it's as good as it is right now. And then what, what also happens is that the, I, I believe Tesla does this also, is that let's picture that someone does come in from your right or left or jams the uh, brakes on immediately. Uh, what ends up happening is that you Brakes will jam on in an incredible way. Uh, what also does happen is that they'll tell, they tell you flat out, do not take the uh, your hands off the wheel, you know. Um, and what do, what does happen is there's normally there's ten cameras on the cars, most of the cars I believe. And what does happen, I'm sure that those cars are going to be more expensive to get fixed because if those cameras go. But it's pretty cool. I mean, and I, I, can, I can picture that it's going to be there. You know, technology goes uh, very quickly. So uh, go take a test drive because it blew my mind, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's absolutely insane when you're... Well, th this is another scary part. This is, this is a scary part. So picture that when you're actually driving, if you're just driving the car yourself, most of the time uh, if you, have the, you have the lanes, then you're going to be in the middle of the lane. What it does is that it locks on to either the left-hand side of the um, uh, line or the right-hand side of the line. So at certain times, if you're going down and you get two or three cars in a row, a, 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 next to each other, it's locking on. It's like, okay, I'm a little too close to this car. So they have, they have things they got to work out. And I'm sure, I, don't, I have no idea what they're going to work out uh, in snow. What does happen, though, so check this out. This is really cool. What they have worked out, in Florida, we get a huge amount of rain. What they have in Florida is, well, no, they have them everywhere. But the, the sight line through the rain, whatever type of cameras they are using, you can, it's seeing right through that sight line, which is really cool, meaning that th the car knows that there is a car in front of you that if you can't even see it.
That, that alone in Florida is huge. Amazing. So, you know, we'll see with the, the whole thing. Uh, hey, the, the whole thing's going forward. That's the real bottom line, you know. Uh, w what's going to happen first, uh, and is happening right now, robotically, is that all these huge industrial places, that's all there's going to be is robotic, robotic cars, you know. And yeah, it would spot a deer. The question is, would it spot a deer? It spots anything. It, 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 it automatically stops with anything in front of you. That's, that's what that comes down to, which you better make sure you have your seatbelt on. Because when it jams the brakes on, man, it jams them on an incredible way. Let's go take a look at the uh, Dow to see what was moving inside the Dow versus... Uh, so all the Dow stocks moved forward today except Visa. Visa and MasterCard got, got smoked, folks. Uh, Visa was down at 257. What that's all about is that the settlement's not going to go through from the credit card companies, um, both MasterCard and Visa. Um, you know, a bunch of companies opted out, and uh, MasterCard, uh, that, that's an ABC down. So MasterCard went from $92 to $88, broke a B point. MasterCard is going to be uh, making its way down to the uh, $83, which is the high volume low from February. 877-927-6648. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow finished up 235. NASDAQ up 63. S&P's up 20. We're going to be right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. 
Welcome back, folks. And so uh, with that, uh, it just uh, the full, not the full story, but part of that story just came across. So this incident actually did happen in Florida. Uh, and the all it says at this point is that the, it was a crash in, involving the 2015 Tesla and that was operating uh, with the vehicle's autopilot, uh, automated driving systems activated. Now, they have autopilot in uh, quotes. I'm not quite sure if maybe that's what they call it in Tesla. I, I don't know. But uh, it's a driver assistance program. But bottom that that would just like be saying realistically that you got in an accident and your um, you know speed control was on. So we'll uh, we'll see where that whole thing goes. Let's go take a look at a few sectors out here. We'll start with the um, financials XLF. So what you have with the you know you, markets up good today. Financials are up. Uh, XLF was up. Uh, 35 cents, 58 million shares traded. Uh, the, all the banks passed their um, review by the Fed. A couple, you know, need to go back by uh, December, but other than that, they can buy back stock, they can raise dividends, and all of them did. And guess what? The XLF couldn't get, well, 35 cents. This XLF still wants lower price. We go to JP Morgan. We take a look at JP Morgan. What you're going to see, JP Morgan, $62.14. You know, you're down on 44 million. You're up on 21 million. Uh, we started the downdraft at 44. Uh, Bank of America. Bank of America going to buy $5 billion worth of stock back. Plus, they upped their dividend to 7.5% from uh, 7 .5 pennies to 5. Oh, actually, they, they're going to. Yeah, they're buying back $5 billion. Bottom line, it's not doing anything for any of these equities, folks. Uh, the, the ironic part about it is that uh, it, it was going to be pretty cool here watching the bank's structure is, of course, they, they want to buy back equities, buy back some of their stock so they can raise the earnings, right? You know, so most times what you do see is that companies waste a huge amount of money buying back their stock. And most of the time they buy it back at highs. Well, Bank of America certainly isn't at highs. So in that aspect, you know, I think it's probably pretty good that, you know, Bank of America is at $13. And if you're going to buy it back at 13 you know, God bless you. Um, that's a lot better than buying it back at 40 and 50 uh, Wells Fargo, which is one of the best banks out here, you know, fundamentally um, is technically uh, in trouble, which is just a mind blow because it's like, Okay, so it's been consolidating the, in the same area since March of 2014. Um, we actually hit a low this month of 44.50. It was testing out the 44.50 of February, but now you're still gonna hey, have another high volume swing low. You know, because the month finished out today, which is a beautiful thing, folks. So we have these monthly volumes. In fact, let's go through those right now. I'll go over to the SPY first. We put the SPY on a monthly. Let's see where we set up. So what you have is that you were going into 3.7 billion and you did 2.6. And if you're a uh, candlestick charting person out there, guess what? You get a beautiful hanging man. And they're always devious signs, man. <laughs> uh, that's in the spy. In the queues, we take a look at what we have happening in the queues. The queues. put this on a monthly basis same deal the queues are going into uh, 1 billion shares and you did uh, 570 million you get a hanging man there too I suspect they're all gonna be hanging men there are there what happens which is really weird with a hanging man too is that the the market has to do really good you know at highs in order to have a hanging man what happens is that first you have to go down then you have to come all the way back up, and then you get almost close, close to the highs on a monthly basis to have a hanging man. So it's always wicked when you're looking at, at markets in general. Yeah, the Dow Industrials has the same thing. So the Dow right now, and you know what the Dow has also too, this is a heads up too. So the Dow was going into uh, 2.7 trillion, uh, no, that's more than that, 2.7 billion. No, it's gotta be 27 billion. Uh, yeah, going up to 27 billion, and we did 22 billion, and then you're also what you're also going into. You're going into a bunch of dojis. 
all these highs out here in the indices are indicated they're not going to hold. You can look at five, six, seven of them out here. And of course, we've been in, at the same place now. This is pretty amazing that we are, we've been at the same place for almost uh, one year, eight months. As in November, it would be two years would be the exact same spot. Energy. Let's go into the energy market. We take a look at the XLE. Uh, XLE is at 68.24. We did uh, 332 million versus 460. This is not going anywhere either. This wants to go back to $60. $60 is. Uh, let's go over to Google because Google, folks. I suspect Google is going to be one of the first equities to actually break the February lows. If we bring Google back, we put this on a monthly basis. <laughs> now, okay, now watch this. this. This is pretty cool how this goes. So Google on a monthly basis, even though it's down, actually looks better than the other indices did, and they're at higher highs. It's pretty wild. So, because Google had 39 million shares traded, yet it went into 49 million it rejected the 663, which was 64 million. You know? So that makes it even more important to keep your eye on Google because on a monthly basis, it's saying that it can go higher. On the daily basis, it's saying that it wants to test the lows before these other companies, or before these other indices. So Google's going to release a lot of information. Let's go to Rich in New Hampshire. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Glad to hear you're, uh, you're sounding better anyway. I, I feel great. I, thank you so much, man. I know. <laughs> I called in, and uh, whoever answered the phone, he answered it in such a funny fashion. I'm crying laughing at the way he answered it. So I don't know who it was, but he's a funny cat. Up there. Yeah, he is. He's laughing right now. <laughs> that's, that's Steve Z, man. He's the Z man. The Z Man. That's okay. his name, the Z Man. If, yeah, he's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling about XRA, Exeter Resources. XRA. Let's take a look at it. So, this is an exploration company, it does business in Argentina and Chile. The low for the year is 29, the high is 144. So, I had it on a daily, and I know that there's a small gap at 107, and it's gotten some juice in it. So, I brought it back out on a weekly and brought it out a couple of years and um i'm looking at it as uh, the c to d leg on an abc on the way up and i'm looking at i've got a uh, 74 cents from the bottom to the first swing and that gives me from say 70 what i have 77 cents another 74 cents up that gets me to 151. So, so, Rich, where, where are you taking the uh, A point from? You got this on a weekly? I got it on a weekly. Taking it from the bottom, right around 32 cents. Okay, cool. Just stay right there. Yeah, this is quite a move, man. You stay right there. Rich and I are going to be coming right back, folks. We're going to be looking at uh, XRA, uh, a little firehouse uh, uh, equity that uh, took off topside. We're going to be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. Join Andy Hecht as he shows you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And don't forget, folks, our man, Mr. Andy Hecht, is going to be coming our next. So no matter where you're listening, if you're listening to your car radio right now, remember, folks, you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone. Just go to TFNN.com in your browser. Hit Tiger TV. You know, if you're in your car, you don't have to watch Tiger TV, but it comes across great, meaning the audio and the video. Right now, we're talking with Rich from New Hampshire. We're talking about uh, Exeter Resources, XRA, and we're talking about the ABC structure in it. Now, do you own this right now, Rich? No, I'm just, uh, I'm looking at it. I'm seriously... Uh, okay, so uh, you, you're going to you're gonna have to wait for retracement now. So it is an ABC up. I mean, it, it, even I just put it on the monthly, so it even broke a B point on the monthly, too. You know, we did uh, 7 million shares versus uh, 5.9, and your price projection is that, uh, you know, $1.40, $1.45 area. Yeah, that's what I have, too. I actually, when I put it on a monthly, it certainly looks like Vista's cousin. Yeah, so listen, okay, so, so check this out. When I was, so okay. watch this, folks. You know, Vista Gold went topside in a big way. Uh, and I went and looked at the ownership, right? Here, I'll do it right now for you. Watch oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, great, great, great. It's, it's yeah. the same ownership. It's the same, the same, the sponsorship of this. Sun Valley Gold keeps buying it. They own 12.7% of it, which is 11.3 million yeah. shares. Now, watch this. I go over to Vista, VGZ. And put the same thing up. I did that, I did that right at the break. And okay. there you go. Yeah. This is pretty wild. Uh, so, yeah. So, Sun Valley also is the 14.6% uh, of Vista also. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't see anything between, on, uh, on uh, Exeter Resource. I don't see anything between that and 12 bucks. That'll take a while, but I agree. There's, you know, what, what you have, folks, is this. The smaller gold equities right now are moving on the aspect that the investors feel that the metal price is going to go higher. So what happens is this, is that a exeter of the world, they have a couple huge mines in Chile and Argentina. Vista has a monster mine in Australia. Both of those, all, all three of those projects, folks, will take a lot of money to get online. What they do do is this. As the price of gold and silver, and they're right at the cusp right now, every dollar that, that goes up right now, those mines are worth so much more money because of the fact that their mines have to get built and they're expensive mines to get the gold and silver out of them. 
okay? But that's your correlation. And if, in fact, you know, when you take a look at gold is at 1324, if, in fact, gold gets up to the 15, 1600, what you're gonna see is that these small stocks are worth the most amount of money because of the leverage that is inside those mines. You know, I, I personally think that the mining business is insane because every time that gold goes to 17, 18, 1900, you have the barracks of the world and the new wants of the world buying gold in the ground like it's 1600. It's like, you're crazy. But guess what? The market knows that that's what they'll do. You know, and that's what they did last time and that's why they got hurt so bad, meaning the big miners. But that's what they do. They're betting on, hey, I'm buying at $200 over, and now it just has to stay over. Well, guess what? It didn't. And so they went all the way back down again. Now that whole game is getting replayed out again. So it's pretty cool, man. You know. Do you have uh, time for another one? Go ahead. Um, Jaguar. J-A-G-G-F. Yeah, what the heck happened? This one's a trip, man. This is oh, man. The thing that's Jeez. a trip about this, folks, is that they had one of the best CEOs in the world, uh, not in the world, but in the, in the mining business, um, he had sold the, this mine uh, to someone else. The board canned him. This guy was from New Hampshire, too, you know. They canned what? him, and then the whole thing crashed. He, he, the, oh, guy, the guy, was, he, he nailed it. And then they canned him, and it crashed. Uh, Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Always you remember, God. folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you want in life, folks. Visualize it, step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Stay right there. I'm Mr. Andy Hex coming up next. Go get him, folks. <laughs>